This is George F551 and this is my 15 minutes of fame video. And we're going to start with the typical day leaving work. Although it's not typical, it's payday. I'm going to cash a check. Working long hours, so as you can tell my outward appearance is meh. But I don't care about stupid little things like outward appearance. Let's go cash my check. Time to cash my check, which is all folded up in this little thing. It's folded so I don't show any private information. Some of the things I like to do, one of my hobbies, which I'd like to get back to, is model railroading. But I can't afford a place big enough for an actual railroad set, which kind of sucks. Another hobby I took up because I saw it on YouTube, and I'm among 300 people that do it, and it's a cheap hobby is what they call elevator photography. Or in my case, I call it elevator videography. We record elevators. There's 300 people, as I said. We gotta cash a check. Here's the bank. It's a multi-story building, and it's got an elevator. We'll ride it. I'm done at the bank. Again, I'm not showing information. Now let's ride the elevator, as I said we would do. Here it is. It is a Tyson crop. And I like to give a cat view to show people what it looks like. Now, the American pronunciation is Tyson crop. However, 150 feet per minute. These are your buttons. And that's the phone. Let's go to lower level. And we get to hear the hey! Dover buzz. As I said, the American pronunciation is Tyson crop. It is rarely used, and only three or four of us 300 elevator enthusiasts use it. Door closes when we push the button. I like that. The more common pronunciation is Tissenkrupp. I said it slow so it would come out right. Usually it comes out horribly wrong to the extent that it would not be suitable for younger audience members to watch. So I stick with the American pronunciation on my videos. But here we are. Three. So while 99% of people, including all the servicemen, refer to it as Tissenkrupp, i rather stick with the English so I don't make that screw up. And the reason you heard it here is I successfully did it twice. A rarity. And then we're done. We do a lap and call it good. And we watch it close. That's not the elevator I really want you to see. I got a special elevator for you. Taipei Towers claims to have the world's fastest, world's fastest passenger elevator. Thought a truck was coming this way, so I was distracted. Actually, I know where the world's fastest passenger traction elevator is. We'll ride that one next. Just because I'm old enough to remember video games only having eight colors, and you had to use your imagination to make sure you knew what the sounds were supposed to sound like and what the little blobs on the screen are supposed to be, I guess it makes me old enough to be on Medicare. Yes. Someone 38 years of age Getting stuff from Medicare. Isn't that nice? So here we are, about to drop off some mail. So why am I showing you some of this needless stuff for 15 minute a day video? 
it's because it sets up for another thing that I like to do that gives me my 15 minutes of fame on YouTube. This is something called Cross the Street. This is where we see if people stop for people that are in an intersection. The road has just been redone, so they might not stop for me, but wherever there's a crosswalk, there was one right there. By law, they have to stop and let me go. And I video all the idiots that don't stop. This is gonna be a one-way, because we got the world's fastest elevator across the street. Not at the post office. But it's along the way. Next up, the world's fastest elevator. Well, we're at 54 Main Street in Lemonster, and we're gonna ride the world's fastest elevator, even faster than Taipei Towers. Those of you on my YouTube channel know who this is. It's Speedy. It's a 1949 Otis bottom drive traction. This is the elevator machine room. The motor that drives the elevator is in there. And it connects to a winding drum underneath the shaft, which you will not be able to see. The cable then runs up the shaft, up to that pulley at the top, and wraps around and is attached to the elevator. Same over here if it's visible. It's hard to get, yeah, right there. Again, we'll do a cab view. It's not much to see. It's a refurbished 1949 Otis. It's been modernized by a company that's local called Meredith. And those are the buttons. And this is a newly installed phone. And there goes the door. Here we go. And just to show you how fast this thing is going, I'm gonna put the camera at the door so you can watch the shaft whiz by. Doesn't it just make you wonder how the human body could withstand such G-forces? Don't blink, You're, you might see something whiz right by you. And you don't want to miss anything. This is the elevator as I mentioned. People on my channel know as Speedy. And here we are at three. And the door opens right away when it gets there. Bang. And here's your down chime. And here's a better look at that pulley right there. Cable going up from the winding drum with the basement and the cable going right down to the elevator itself. And I think we might be able to see the lightning drum from here. Nah, it's too dark. Actually, I think I saw a piece of it. Let's head back down. There's a dog in here. Alrighty, let's bring it to two. 
Somebody wants it, so we'll give it to them. We'll watch the counter this time. And the thing is, this used to be Savatelli's department store. Someone made the fact known, men's, ladies, and midgets, written in pencil over the floor counter. Here's your blistering 25 feet per minute. And here's the door and the dog. There you go. I'm taking you don't like elevators. No. There it goes. And that was Speedy, the world's fastest elevator. I think I got one more for you. We are walking through downtown Lemonster. And we're going to walk to an elevator that I refer to as something that went horribly wrong in history. Not because something happened to the elevator per se, but because fire codes took something old and beautiful and forced the owners of this five-story building to replace it with something not so beautiful. This building, built in 1904, used to have the old birdcage elevator. But because fire codes don't allow an open shaft like that anymore, it was ultimately ripped out and replaced with a bland, boring, run-of-the-mill hydraulic elevator. In this case, it's a Meredith. And you can tell it was a caged elevator because of these posts. And the fast door open indicates it's a Meredith. It's a early 70s install. The one's burnt out on the display now. Use the buttons. And there's your no phone. Optical sensors. You'll be able to hear the motor. And this thing rumbles and shakes a bit because it's suffered through two massive fires. 1988 and fire gutted the building. Right now it's the smooth part that survived. Then another fire happened in the uh, early 90s, I found out. It takes forever to level. And here we are. Now you can't see it, but there is a single hydraulic piston in the center of the elevator holding it up. Now I'm going to go back to ground, and door closes immediately, as we all know. For those that watch my channel, I like that. The video might bounce around a little because the elevator is bouncing around a little. You notice that liquid noise that occurs while it's running? That's how you know it's a hydraulic. As you can see, they had to butcher up the floor and they put in this new elevator. New in the 70s. Because where the poles were in between were the cages. And everything was supported on that. And there goes that elevator. And that's my... 15 minutes of fame. Oh, and take a listen. Those are the hydraulics. Have a good one.